This is Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for May 23, 2022, Monday of the sixth week of Easter. For the reflection, how many times have I taken the call of the Spirit for granted, even when I needed it? We thank you, Holy Spirit, for the special abilities and powers you have bestowed upon us. You are the source of the various spiritual gifts that you give to believers so that we can help one another and build the church. We beg you to bless us with your teaching abilities, miracles, healing, helping others, leadership and more. Most empower us to love you with all our heart, soul and mind, as well as love others as we love ourselves. First reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verses 11 to 15. We set sail from Croas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Naples, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia, and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate, along the river, where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, a worshipper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Hallelujah. The Lord takes delight in his people. The acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord. And you also will testify. Alleluia, alleluia. Gospel of John chapter 15 verses 26 to chapter 16 verses 1 to 4a. Jesus said to his disciples, When the advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. 
The first reading for today demonstrates Paul's great work in Philippi and how God directs the church's mission, assisting missionaries in overcoming all difficulties. God also blessed their efforts to lead the people to salvation through faith and to establish a community of Jesus followers. Because Philippi lacked a synagogue, the missionaries went to the riverside on the Sabbath. Before a synagogue could be formed, Jewish tradition required a quorum of at least 10 male heads of household. If these conditions were not met, the faithful were to gather under the open sky near a river or sea. So Paul and his companions went out on the Sabbath to the river in search of fellow Jews. They came across a small group of women gathered for worship. Paul approached them and began speaking with them. This enlightens us that, like Paul, we who are on fire for the word of God must find ways and means to persuade people about the truth of the gospel. The Lord then opens the heart to respond to the message because human witness is ineffective in the absence of divine expertise. Thus, the witness always relies on the Holy Spirit to convict and open the hearts of those who hear. That's what happened in the life of Lydia, a wealthy working woman who needed someone to share the gospel with her. The reading for today also teaches us about the practice of hospitality. We must be generous and welcoming to those who need our help. As sick people go to the hospital and recover, we must show hospitality, nurture and strengthen and serve the needy. So that when they leave, they are healthier and more complete than when they arrived. Deborah, Ruth, Hannah, Esther, Mary and many other biblical women were used by God. In today's gospel reading, Jesus warns his followers of the difficulties they will face. But he also promises to send the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, to accompany them. In today's world, we are Christ's hearts and hands. In today's world, the Spirit of Truth is desperately needed and visible among those struggling to meet basic human needs, such as food, shelter and clothing. The spirit of truth is also a spirit of love, sending us the right people at the right time to help us deal with our own problems. You must also bear witness, Jesus says here, how? By standing by those who are struggling, speaking up for the voiceless, and empowering them to do so. Thought for the day. When we are faithful to the task of bringing the message of Christ to everyone we meet, the Holy Spirit does his work of bringing the message of Christ to live in us and in the hearts of those we meet. Pray. We thank you, Holy Trinity, for the riches we have inherited as God's children. We thank you for granting us the privilege of serving you and spreading the good news of the endless treasures of knowing you through your grace and mighty power. We ask for your Holy Spirit's power to overcome us and make us worthy vessels for your service. Empower us and guide our words as we share your gospel with the world through your power.
Amen.